Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and everyone in between, and welcome. Now, for quite a while now, I've been trying to make a review of my uh, 1996 Suzuki Bandit. And I made one today, and I'm fairly happy with it. I would have liked to have ridden a bit further, but I've got to work. So in a minute, I'm going to show you the review. But first, I just want to say that um, I've just gone through all the paperwork. dates back to 2009. So if you stay tuned, because there's something interesting. If you stay tuned, at the end of the little video, of this video I'll carry on with the video and um, tell you what I found so enjoy the video all right anyway hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and anyone in between and welcome for a while now I've been thinking about making a review of this mark one Suzuki bandit but I've been trying to make it different because so much has already been said about this bike so I've been there for quite a while now thinking what can I say? So chances are, if you've landed on this video, you've already seen videos from like, many motors, such as this. When it was launched in 1995, a Bandit like this would have cost you just four grand. And now the price is up to a touch over 4,700 for this version, the naked version, you still get an awful lot of excitement for your money. And you've seen videos of people talking about all the stats of the bike. But chances are, you could just be a newbie, and those stats, you have no idea. You can't visualise what close to 80 brake horsepower means. You don't know what it means. So think about getting this bike. It's not the fastest bike in the world. It's not the most talky bike in the world. However, it is a bloody good bike. Now my personal opinions on the Suzuki Bandit, the Mark 1 that I've got, is that it is a, it is a workhorse. It is a bloody workhorse. Now I made a mistake. When I passed my full bike, bike license, I went out and bought a ZX6R. Which I found very uncomfortable and a bit too fast to what I'd done. I rode it a few miles and I went and picked up this bike here. And this bike I instantly gelled with and molded with. It's such a good bike for, uh, for people who have just passed their full license. It will not chuck you off and it will definitely get you to places bloody easy to fix. Another thing about it, so you can buy pieces, pieces, I've got distracted by that car, you can buy parts relative, relatively cheap, because in the 90s it's one of the biggest selling bikes. In fact if you combine the sales of the naked one and half aired one it is the biggest selling bike. Uh, let me show you what 80 brake horsepower is. So let's approach this. I think I'm in second gear. Let's approach this quite slowly. I am on a private road, by the way. So I'm going to first. Turn corner. That. That's roughly what 80 brake horsepower feels like. I got up to, so for 50? Before I had to slow down for the, for the corner there. So if you don't think 80 brake horsepower is enough, you're a bit of a bad man. So I've come to my office just to look at some um, some naked bikes. So here we have the Suzuki SV650 braided bike, um, around five and a half grand, 69 brake horsepower. Both Kawasaki Z650, just over six grand, 68 brake horsepower. Yamaha MT07, 6,300 pounds, 74 brake horsepower. On the CB650F, 6,700 pounds, uh, 86 brake horsepower. So, you see what I'm trying to get out here. You can buy a Suzuki Bandit. Yeah, an older one for about a grand for roughly the same performance as those bikes I've just pointed out there. I feel very safe on this bike, I'm not gonna lie. It feels rock solid. I can get out of danger anytime I want, and the brakes are decent. And in a minute, I'm gonna give you a lesson on how to overtake cyclists. Doing all right, actually, yeah, free breath. So, gone down the gear. Bye bye, cyclists.
That was second gear. What I found was that for five years my Suzuki Bandit only done about 200 miles. Um, I should have known all this stuff before I purchased it really. Um, and I also went through the latest, no I went through the MT certificate from 2018 and it had five advisories on it like the rear shock absorber, uh, just make, mainly suspension. Um, so I just ran out. And I checked it, which again I should have checked when I bought it, and it's all been fixed and repaired and sorted. So I think I've got a bit of a bargain there. So anyway, a feather just fell. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so in short, if you're looking at buying a Suzuki Bandit, I'd recommend you try it and see if if it kind of fits you. Um, and I'll definitely buy one. Yeah. Whether it's your first bike or whether you just want to kind of settle down into riding again, if that makes sense. Yeah, cheers. Write it down. I hope I look really cool on that camera there that he's filming me with. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>